Yeah, Tim, I did. And right now the state hospital stands to lose about $14 million if they don't increase security. That federal funding is less than 5% of the hospital's annual budget, but they're still trying to avoid the loss. Take a look at what prompted the investigation. This is the man that escaped from the Oregon State Hospital in August. His name is Christopher Prey, and he's charged with attempted murder, robbery, and assault. Two days after the escape, Prey was found. Firefighters pulled him from this muddy pond in North Portland. His time on the run prompted an investigation. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid released this report detailing their findings. They say the hospital could lose funding in March if they don't increase security particularly when it comes to transporting patients. The report says the hospital failed to, quote, develop and implement clearly written effective policies, procedures, and staff training that ensured patient safety and security and safety of others. It also reveals more about Prey's escape. I'm surprised anyone could escape from here. They found that the two staff members transporting Prey, who had shackles on his legs, a belly chain, and handcuffs, stepped out of the car and left the keys in the ignition. That's when Prey unbuckled himself, jumped in the front seat, and took off, driving over 100 miles an hour. Hospital staff later said that when it comes to managing car keys, they, quote, don't have a procedure or protocol for that. The Oregon State Hospital has until December 21st to submit a plan detailing their efforts to correct security issues. In a statement, the OSH superintendent said, quote, we are taking immediate measures to ensure we meet the CMS requirements and continue to keep patients, staff, and the public safe and secure. Well, it wasn't always up to hospital staff to transport patients like Christopher Prey. In the past, law enforcement in Marion County would handle the transport, but that contract ended in 2022 after the sheriff's office said they were too short-staffed.